Greenwich and I'm Nils Berry on another episode of Too Much Information. <laughs> on this episode, we will be discussing discussing S say it Greta improper fractions. <gasps> now, as our viewers already know, the fractions are a piece of something. The bottom number or denominator represents the size of the pieces of the whole item. And the top number, or the numerator, numerator, represents how many of those pieces we have. So proper fractions are less than one. The other day, I was having tea and I saw 11 fourths. I was flabbergasted. How could a fraction walk around with its top bigger than its bottom? So today we've taken it upon ourselves to discuss how to make improper fractions proper. Now you never know when you're going to be calculating fractions with the Queen and you want to be certain to do it properly. Now normally a fraction has its top smaller than its bottom. Yes, meaning that the value is less than one. When the top number and the bottom number are the same, it equals one. But when the top number is bigger than the bottom one, it's larger than one and improper. <gasps> <laughs> to make an improper fraction proper, you simply divide the bottom number into the top number. How many times does 4 go into 11, Molesbury? It goes in twice, but there seem to be 3 left over. Oh dear, I believe you're right. Well, it goes in twice, so we put 2 by it. And then we put a fraction, 3 fourths, to show that there's some left over. A proper fraction. <laughs> Now, a word of warning, 11 fourths isn't the only improper fraction out there. There are others, like 5 thirds and 10 sixths, or 17 eighths. <gasps> <laughs> now remember, with effort, you can make any fraction proper and presentable on your math assignment. Simply by dividing, you can make the top smaller than the bottom. bottom.